All right, so here's a great image showing the difference between red, red, brown, and brown. I know it can get confusing, especially here with the red, brown. There's a lot of different ones there that are kind of in that designation. But for the brown pennies, you can really tell the difference of brown pennies, which you will really see on my pennies here when I show you in a second. And then red and brown are easy to distinguish between one another. You see the red up at the top. They're uh, really the shiny pennies, you know, the newer looking ones that you find in your pocket change. Red brown is kind of where you get a little iffy and that is up to the coin grading companies. They will put those on your slab, brown, red brown, or red. Now let's look at a couple 1969s. So here is a 1969 double die. Now this penny here is considered to be a brown penny. And then here is the 1969 red brown. You actually see here on the coin slab of this coin that it actually has that RB, so that red brown. So you can also get that on your coin slabs as well. So that is the 1969 red brown. And then if we go to the 1969 red, that is what a red coin is gonna look like. It's gonna look like one of those shinier new pennies that just came out into circulation so that is the difference between red red brown and brown so hopefully that answers some of your guys questions about these pennies now I know you guys want to know what are these coins actually worth well in my opinion the red pennies are uh, gonna be more sought after by coin collectors and carry like a higher value and premium over other coins that turn brown so over time, these pennies are going to turn brown. So basically, depending on the environment that you keep your copper pennies, you know, that will determine, you know, the different colors that it may turn. So for instance, this 1969 brown penny here, now this is the double die example. So we can see the doubling on the lettering as well as on the date 1969. And this penny here sold for over $54,000. Now it also is graded at about uncirculated 55, so if it was graded at a mint state grade, it would sell for a lot more money. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70, so the higher the grade on the coin, typically the more money that the coin is going to sell for. So if we look at the red penny in comparison to the brown penny, now this coin is actually graded at an MS64 red. So it's got a higher grade, which is gonna give it more value than the brown penny, and it's got the red designation to it. So this penny here sold for over $125,000, and of course, this is the double die 1969 Lincoln penny example as well. All right, so here's my pennies from 1909. Now, all of these are going to be brown. See, all brown. I almost got this thing complete. I only need, what, three pennies, I think? 1922D, 1931S. So all these, like I said, are gonna be brown, but if we look at this next book here, let's check this out. This is 1941 to 1974. So this would be a good example here. So we got brown pennies. So for an example, the 1957 brown and then we look at that one, that one is definitely red. This might go as a, a red brown here for the 55, and then we can see the red, and we see the brown, 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 red, brown, red. So I got a lot of those that are uh, quite different here in this book. This one here might go as a red brown, red brown maybe, red, brown, red brown. You guys get it. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys leave a comment below and don't forget to go check out couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description of every single video. By the way, there's my steel pennies, 1943, 43D. Man, I could use a better looking 43D, huh? And 1943S. Actually, I might have one in my book. I'll have to look and see if I got one in a coin flip. Ooh, that 1945D, what is up with that? I gotta take some of these out and put some better ones in. I've had a lot more better ones than those, but I've never exchanged them out. And then here is 1975 to about 2000, what, maybe 12, 10, 10, 11. Always be on the lookout for that double die reverse on the 2009 penny. And be sure to go check out all my other penny videos where I'll show you exactly what to look for on each specific date. So we got more pennies coming out. Just uploaded a penny video the last two days, so definitely go check those out. One of them is uh, really, really awesome. Talking about a 1958 penny that sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. So go check it out. Don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I...
disappear.